Folks, the people at FPV Model have continued to make my favorite flight controller, the X-Racer F303, better and better. My initial complaint with this board was that it didn't have a VBAT pin, and then they released V2.0, which had a VBAT pin, and that's good, but it still had those ugly pads for the battery and for other sensors instead of through holes. And then V2.1 came out with the through holes, and it was almost perfect. But if you could have one complaint about the V2.1, it would be that it only ran up to 4 kilohertz because it had the MPU 6050 chip on it, and that uses I2C, and it can only run up to 4 kilohertz. But here's V3.0. The folks at FPV model listen, and, and they've given us, you know, people have asked me, what would be your perfect flight controller? Because I do these rundowns of flight controllers, and every single flight controller I have some complaint about. And they're like, fine, shut up. Tell us what you want. An FPV model is just getting closer and closer to giving me a perfect flight controller. So what does this flight controller not have that I could still ask for? Well, it doesn't have an SD card reader on board, and that would be super nice. I don't know. Is that what V4.0 is going to be? I don't know. Probably, right? I mean, that's how it's gone. Everything I've complained about, they've done. So, hey, FPV model, how about an SD card reader? Yeah, I'll look for it in three months, right? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, the, uh, oh, and by the way, for you guys who fly Spectrum, the other thing you could ask for is the freaking satellite connector. It's gone, and I don't think it's coming back. Sorry, Spectrum guys. Switch over to FreeSky. It's pretty good. No, anyway. Uh, but if, uh, if you don't fly Spectrum, this board really seems to have everything you could ask for, except an SD card reader. And it's 30 bucks, and it ships from China. Uh, and it gets, I've always had them arrive within about eight to 10 days via standard shipping. Uh, I don't know why Banggood sometimes takes two or three weeks, but FPV model seems to get them to the U.S. pretty quickly. So there you go. Now, you know, it's out there and you can decide. You could still buy the 2.1 version for $27 if you care to. It's still a great board. And four, four kilohertz, uh, gyro with four kilohertz motor updates flies amazing. But if you want the latest and greatest, you go to eight kilohertz here. For 30 bucks, only $3 more, your call. Happy flying.